Hello my soccer universe. I decided to do another Serie A roundup now midweek because it's the only action that I'm in, really in, interested in. Yes, there are the championship playoffs into the Premier League which are kind of exciting but I'm, I don't want to, I, I, it's not part of the channel because I have not talked anything about the championship. Yes, Leeds United is going to come back which is also exciting but you know, uh, let's stay Serie A only because I actually saw um, the larger part of four games and there's some exciting development. Also, as we will see, the last round has been slightly rescheduled, which actually works out in my favor this time around. So let's get right to it. The first game I saw mostly the second half is Parma against Atalanta. Uh, where Atalanta actually had a pretty horrid first half uh, and they went down to a goal by Kulusevski in the 43rd minute. Not really showing much, but seemingly uh, Gasparini found the right words. Took a while to get things going in Parma. However, a free kick from Malmanowski went straight through the ball into the net. And then it was a really nice individual effort by Papu Gomez. Uh, I think it was almost at midfield. He runs forward then uh, puts the ball through the legs of a Parma defender. And when he carries it, he takes a shot from outside of the box, goes nicely into the net. And Atalanta scores again. Um, we will see whether they will make the 100 goal mark, uh, given that the last game is against Inter, that will be an interesting one. Speaking of Inter against Napoli, Inter actually took a very early lead uh, in that one through D'Ambrosio, uh, but then Napoli was wasting many, 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 many chances. And however it is, um, whenever that happens, Lautaro Martinez in a similar goal to the Papu Gomez one. As far as I have, you know, now my head makes it 2 0, and that kind of decides the game for Inter. So the race for second place is still on, and Lazio also joins this race, uh, although with uh, very much outside chances. However, the most important for Lazio is the Capo Cannoniere, with Immobile scoring another goal. I think he's not a tally 35, and I think 36 he equalizes, he equals records, and I think with that he also put enough distance between him and Cristiano. I think it's now four goals ahead. As you see, Juve has not scored. <laughs> so, uh, Lazio also in the uh, chase for who finishes second, but probably they will most likely finish um, in fourth spot. We'll look at this when we look at the table. I saw, of course, all of Sampdoria against Milan. I'm wearing the black Milan jersey. Milan again scoring many goals. Uh, it was from the beginning a live, lively game. I mean, Ibrahimic already in the fourth heads it in after a cross by Rebic. Then Rebic himself should have made it 2-0. Uh, I don't know how he uh, could miss it one. Um, then there was a period where the game was kind of plodding along rather even, um, but uh, Milan at the end again tries to create chances. Cannot get them in. I was thinking I'd have them better make the goal now because other, other, otherwise it might be a game that you end up losing. And fortunately they got it right. Uh, Ibrahimovic assists Jalanoglu who slots it home but the um, uh, Sampdoria defender was kind of was falling through the tribunal so initial foul was given but VAR showed that uh, Jalanoglu had minimal contact so the goal was given for 2-0 and then six minutes later Jalanoglu sets up Ibrahimovic so they go the other way around. Really nice Ibrahim, which times the run perfectly to not be offside, although it was tight. And uh, it is 3 0 for Milan. And it should have ended that way. Uh, at least, not that uh, Milan is giving up. Stup um, uh, Kier gives away a stupid pen penalty, but Maroni puts it so poorly that it's not hard for Donnarumma to save that one. At that moment, you really think. They want to now finally uh, not concede because they've been conceding many goals as, as of late. However, uh, Askilson, uh, Young Dane, with a really nice shot. I mean, um, Milan loses the ball and he really takes a nice shot um, and makes it 1 3. Is there a chance? No. Leao, uh, after I think Bonnet Bonamatura already missed a big one, Leao finally in the 99 second puts the game to rest. Huge. The next two results are huge because they ensure at least that there's some drama that really matters because who finishes second is not all that important. But Sassuolo beating up on Genoa 5-0 um, puts Genoa now in trouble. Um, 
Terrare, Berardi, Caputo, Raspatori and uh, Caputo again scoring the goals. Uh, Genoa, therefore, needing uh, some help. Or, no, they need to get a win themselves uh, in order to stay in. But Lecce turns the game around at Udine, and that's what keeps the uh, thing, uh, the relegation battle alive. Samir in the 36th gets the lead for um, Udine, but the penalty, Mancoso equalizes, and very late in the 81st, Lapadula makes it 2-1 for Lecce. So I'm excited. Again, Genoa is a team that has a lot of history and therefore belongs in Serie A, but I have not been very impressed by them, and I actually enjoy watching Lecce a lot more. Uh, Verona Spal 3 0. Cagliari, I didn't see much of that, but Cagliari again, again against Juve. That is a ridiculous result, to, to be honest. Juve wraps up the title and then, yeah, we don't need, need to play anymore. I don't know. Maybe they're tired, maybe they're uh, saving themselves for a change, obviously. But that doesn't leave a good impression. And I didn't say it the last time. Juve have now won nine in a row. And I know Juve, you tried really, 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 really hard that someone else wins the title this time around and I think it was mostly down to uh, one team, Atalanta, not taking it seriously enough until the end of the season where they th saw they have a chance, they would never think, think they're in there. Lazio having too many injuries and Inter throwing away stupid leads. Uh, especially now after the Corona break, I think if Inter Look at the results that Inter got, where how, 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 how many goals they, they conceded in the last 10 minutes and so on. If that doesn't happen, I think Inter is right there in the title race. Uh, Fiorentina and Bologna also a big result for Fornil and then I saw Torino-Roma, which was kind of the last chance uh, that Milan would have to uh, get into Europa League group stage with the win Roma. Uh, Secured himself that, 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 that spot. There was a uh, slight hope when Zaza set up Berenguer to a really nice goal. Um, but right on the get go, uh, Michitarian uh, with a wonderful assist to Jeko makes it 1 1. Then um, um, corner by Carlos, Carlos Perez, Smalling heads it in 23rd and you know not even 10 minutes later and the game is turned, turned around and then it was actually live, live of them but then kind of it got dead. Roma playing in the new away jerseys which I think look nice but I'm not so sold on the cream color. I think in white they would look even better so I'll probably take a pass on this. I really like the one that they had for most of the season. I need to make a video about my thoughts on all those teams debuting now their jerseys at the end of the season. Spoiler, I don't like it. Then penalties given away, a uh, clear foul on Jacob in the 61st and I thought yeah this is the game I should go to bed. Uh, Diavara, not a well-taken penalty, but he puts pull, puts it in. But then Singo, just four four minutes later, just when I was getting, getting, getting ready to get up, makes it 2-3. Is it exciting? Yeah, maybe there was a chance or two, but I think Roma rather safely plays it home. So in the standings now, uh, as I said, you were yeah, champions. Thank you very, 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 very much, but um, not very exciting. They might, they might actually win this championship by a single point. Inter, Atalanta and Lazio. Uh, now fighting for the second spot and as we can see Lazio uh, if they win an Inter and Atalanta draw then Lazio could actually end up in a uh, second spot other than that the winner between Inter and Atalanta will get that one. Roma is in the Europa League as is Na Napoli, Milan yeah it's four, it's four points even if uh, Roma should not lose to Juventus and Milan win uh, it's not enough at least I have to say, I, uh, half a year ago, I didn't even think that Milan may make it into Europa League. Uh, Sassolo, a credible eighth spot finish. Um, I th yes, they, uh, Verona can get that too. But Sassolo and Verona were probably the positives of this season. And then you see on, on the bottom, Genoa and Lecce, one point separates the two of them. We see already a 25% chance for Genoa to get relegated, 75 for Lecce. So the odds on favorite is let you to get relegated. So let's look at the final round. Uh, they set it up nicely that the big teams, I mean, Atalanta Inter is a really interesting game, I have to say, um, that I'm actually a little bit looking for than Juve Roma is a classic, as is now not, not, not Lazio. So I really hope there's a way that I can watch all of these somehow together, that they're switching back, back and forth. Uh, but there's not much at stake at those late games, but it's all played on Saturday in the evening. So that at least sounds fun. And then to decide relegation, we had Genoa at home to Verona and Lecce against Parma. Um, as far as I understand, Lecce 
needs to uh, win and hope. I, I think at Rofa Lecce is not, not enough as far as I understand. Lecce will need to win and Genoa uh, will need, um, then Genoa can have a draw. But if Genoa wins, Genoa is through. Uh, so yeah, that was the mid-round. Let me know what you thought about the, the results. I'm happy that Milan is fixing the Europa League. I was hoping for a fifth spot, but uh, it was a tall order and Roma is my second love in Italy. So I think they deserve it as well. They played overall more consistently. So therefore I'm fine with Roma uh, getting that spot. Hopefully Milan will get a good draw and I hope it's not Lusk. I don't think it can be. Let's see. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!